Hello and welcome. And probably I'm capturing my screen, so my microphone might be a bit different. And today I'm sharing with you um, what I've done here. I think you can see the whole screen. Let's see. Um, probably yes. Um, this is a Photoshop file. I'm working with Photoshop CS2 because it is for free. It is old but it's golden and this is how I draw and this is how I ink. As you can see here where I have the mouse are my inks. They are locked. Here are my colors um, and that's the background. I will show you how I drew this picture. This is the inks without nothing. This is the flats. Um, this is the background. You can see just a white page or a transparent page. This is my first or one of my first screen capturing videos. So let's get into this. A friend of mine uh, wanted for his uh, gaming gaming room um, a board from Chivalry. I think that's the name. And um, yeah, this I painted up as good as I could. As you can see, I hope I'm recording very cool. I hope the sound is not too bad. I'm using the speakers from my microphone. And yeah, I will change up these two to this color. And this is a great Warhammer, but it's seen here in this fog. And yeah, well, first of all, um, he gave me a reference. So it's not all... Um, from my imagination but that's okay because artists um, copy and steal from other artists as you can see I took a lot of the stuff not copy pasted it but um, that's how the customer wanted it or the commissioner um, so I did as I was told um, because that's what you do when you get a commission and he told me you can do it in your style. And as you can see, this is very Frank Frasetta-esque. And I took this picture and I put it on 55%. And I love painting on paper. And I would have loved to paint, paint off paper. Um, I have more fun doing it. And also I feel my drawings are better on paper sometimes. But working digitally because like he wants to print this out in um, image image size 60 centimeter to 80 centimeters he wants to put this not on a poster but um, on a canvas and he wants to print it dig digitally and he's a friend and i told him yes i can do this these are the flat colors we get into this and then we see his character from chivalry again put on 78%. Uh, this is how he sent it to me. Uh, this is a screen capture. And um, I merged it. I merged it from these two pictures um, and got the pose and inked over it. As you can see, it's, it's a mixture of both. And the rest I took from this picture and um, yeah, for he hadn't didn't have a great budget, so I couldn't put in all the time I wanted. Still, I did put more time into this than I got paid for what I should be paid. It's just what it is. So um, I put in the quality I could afford, but it's not my best work, but it's also not my worst. As you can see, um, this is, I copied this guy or kind of was inspired by, um, um, by, the, by an Empire book from Warhammer, uh, 5th edition or something like that. And then it came together, like first I'd try to paint it up and with as much love as I could put in, wait a second, and, um, it turned out pretty good, um, 
but it's not all perfect but it holds up as good as i can it's a pretty messy picture um but then wait till the colors are in on this and it makes a lot more sense so when you zoom in it's not too fancy but it does hold up pretty okay um these are the pure flats as you can see um i will show you a video like Ralph nisa did it my mentor that he like he he died last year oh here I did a mistake. Here I colored over. Mm, okay. As you can see here, these are the inks. And over the inks should be no color. And this is fine. That's why here it's locked. But here are the flats. And as you can see, um, the flats should have very hard edges so that I just can select this. Um, I will select it and I can change the color anytime. Um, as I can show you here, I select this cover, color, I um, take my Marvel 63 color, color palette, take this one in or this one, um, I choose this color here, wait a second, uh, and then I just color it and then bam, it's done, as you can see. But let's go uh, a few steps back. Um, yeah. What's there else to say? This is with these kinds of flats, okay. And then I, these were original flats or really flat flats. I go and select with my polygon lasso um, all the edges and then I put them together and I fill in the color and that's my process, which isn't any more the fastest. Um, I maybe should upgrade how I do it and I will tell you how my mentor did it then. But as you can see, there are no white spots. There are, um, the lines cover up these edges or will be smoothed out um, when I resize it. Um, usually when I do a comic page, I work in 600 um, DPI pixels per inch and then when I make from 600 to 300 um, you will see no hard edges you will only see soft edges but with this picture I have to see how I solve this um, I maybe resize it up and resize it down a bit and lose a bit of the sharpness or maybe um, as you can see I had original flats like this and then I copied it and I started to make something different with it and maybe I need uh, uh, a third layer to soften out some of the edges because otherwise you will see uh, these edges that are not covered by the black lines some some of these um, are covered in black lines so you won't see um, or maybe in print they will not show this hard, but usually um, I size it or resize it down. So if I would show you, um, oh, wait a second, I just open up one that I resized. Like this is one of the finished pieces that I sent to him um, and that he can put now into print. And as we can see, um, it's not as good as I, it should be. Um, but it's a lot softer. I don't know if you can see this then when it's printed out, but I might have to go over this again. Um, in my comment pages, you will have no hard edges. Um, let's see, print size. If you have this print size, and if this is your print size, you won't see any edges. Like this is, this is what you get. This is how it will look like. Um, and it will look good. Um, so far for this video, um, I will hit you with tons of stuff I've did over the years, um, stuff from my mentor, uh, so it won't be lost in time and future projects, which I'm planning to do. And yeah, 
let's keep rocking and well my wish is to find a thousand or two thousand true fans that support me on patreon um and that i can give value to you um whether it's artwork or comics or other stuff and you support me on patreon or buy stuff from me i know everybody's doing it nowadays but i really think i have something going on for myself i'm not yet the best craftsman but i definitely have a distinct style and feel to my stuff and if you like it please support me or write me or let's figure something out we see us and uh to the next video see you